So I'm here with Kim Foran and we are at Geranium Lake Flowers and today we are gonna be talking about a different type of crown, aren't we? So tell me what we're doing here. As opposed to a diamond crown? Yes, possibly, or gold. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are making flower crowns and flower head wreaths and they are very fashion forward and very popular. Um, we're making a lot of crowns in lieu of, say, lays for graduation, you know, uh, different wedding fun. kind so of. So you could wear that to a prom then? A prom, yeah, yeah a prom. Anything. <laughs> yeah, you could wear it um, walking down the aisle. <laughs> you could wear it for your baby christening, <laughs> for your quinceanera. What else? I think you can pretty much just wear it around the house. And honey. this this is the one you're going to have me wear now. <laughs> well, this one is more of a Greek god look, and that. this is Hebe, um, uh, bay leaf, and then rosemary. So this is for remembrance, and right? And so, it, well, what? <laughs> yes, of course it is. So what do you, how, is there a way that you choose these? How do you make them? Do yeah, just... um, I'll show you how to do it. First, I'm going to put mine on. I made this one uh, just before you got here. And this is a little full, right? But this okay. is kind of the style these days. They're very cool. I know, they're really cool. So let's make one. So I have a, a couple different kinds of, um, you need a ribbon or some sort of, uh, something to put the actual flower material on. This next one, we're gonna do like a little crown like yours to uh -huh. sit on your head. Um, or and is there, what's in it that makes it rigid? Is it a wire? Uh, yeah, this is a like a sisal covered wire. Okay. We also use this satin covered wire, That's which fancy. is a little bit more flexible. Um, so you wanna grab your, uh, your piece of wire. And um, for this one, we're gonna make a kind of a loop crown and I measured your head earlier right yeah and so this is gonna fit right on your head and it just sits right there yeah okay and then we're gonna put our flower material around so you want to grab some clippers and you want to kind of select what you want okay um, do you want to make this? Sure. Me? Okay. I'll try so anything three or four times. You are going to yeah. make little short bundles about okay. three to four inches long. So go ahead and clip. Do you want some bay leaf in yours? And why not? Okay. And um, I also got some lavender because look how pretty that That's is. beautiful. And when you're making you these, do you, do you think of like, is it the same as with other floral design that you do here? Do you think about the color and the texture or... It, is it that is it different when you're making these? Uh, yeah, I mean, you think about what kind of vibe you want, what yeah. kind of color you want, um, if it's going to match your wedding dress, you yeah. know, that kind of thing. <laughs> I, I, it, must, <laughs> it has to match my wedding dress, Kim. Yeah. There's nothing else to it there. Um, so <laughs> then we use this corsage tape, and this is a, a wax-covered paper tape, and it stretches. Mm -hmm. So the trick is for this is to really um, pull it tight. And you notice that I kind of cleaned the yes. end of the stems. And you kind of make a little bundle. So you bundle your plant material like this. You take a piece of the tape and you really stretch it and you make kind of a little bundle. Oh, so you're, you're pulling that pretty tight. Now. Yeah, so then you make your next bundle. I failed you, I didn't cut that one short enough. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. And this is, we're gonna go for a big fat bloom. This is a Lysianthus. This is a bicolor pink and white. Beautiful. Um, I like to pick things that are gonna hold. Yeah, um, because Cause these aren't gonna have water, are they? Right, yeah. no water and um, they're short term. They'll last for kind of the length of an event, yeah. you know, kind of four to eight hours. Um, so you make these little bundles like this you kind of clip off the end so you can kind of see we have these three bundles and we can kind of see okay. what it's going to look like and usually me I kind of line it up to see kind of what my So it's my really vibe. almost like making a Christmas wreath or a different kind of exactly. wreath. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Well that makes it much easier to understand then well, for my simple mind. <laughs> so you're going to go ahead and okay. put this together. You're going to trust me again. Yeah. Okay and so you pull it tight. Yeah. And then just, I'm trying to copy you and I'm not doing clear. <laughs> it's definitely kind of a small finger move. Yeah. Uh, okay. And then you, you just love roll it. it. Yeah. Okay. And then, and then you can just pull that off. And then we're going to take the clippers and kind of clip the end. Okay. Maybe. Um, and now we're ready to add our plant material to our hoop. Okay. Okay. So again, um, we're going to grab some tape. And the same type of tape, right? Yep. 
And then am I doing the tape, yeah. the wrapping thing again? Yeah. Okay. And this is a little bit trickier because you have to go in the hoop, but you can do it. I, I thank you. Your faith will help me uh, conquer this, I'm sure. Okay, I see. Now you just, well, I'm not going to make this for a living, am I? Because I'm <laughs> not very fast at it. And then you just, oh, okay. What if you actually wad the tape up like I just did? <laughs> so you want to make sure the tape is all flat. Okay. So if it gets kind of folded, um, you can either start over. Yeah, you're good. And then do you do you add now? Yeah. More. So then we're going to break this off. You have a nice secure. It's not uh, wrinkled or anything. So then you're going to take your next bundle and you're going to lay it about three quarters down. So if you go too close, it's then it's blob. jumbled. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so then usually you can kind of see about right there. Okay. Got it? So then, and then you just do the I'll same start thing again. this for Thank you. you. So Thank stretch you. stretch <laughs> it. So Kim, now we took a couple of minutes and you added to this because clearly you're faster than I am. But I was Check wondering. Check out the peony. Look at that. Yeah, stunning. Yeah, and you see how I added the maple yeah. to pick up on the color? Yeah. That's another cool thing. It looks so rich right there. It really does. Yeah. So if we, if I come in and buy one of these, should I treat it like regular cut flowers and maybe keep it like chilled until the event that I'm going to Yeah, wear? Um, what I would like you to do is I would like you to mist it. So oh, mist okay. it with water and then put it in a bag so it's enclosed. So we use a little box, but you can put it in a Ziploc bag oh, okay. and put it in the refrigerator and it will last um, a long time, actually. Here, and wait, I think I need to trade you out. Do you, <laughs> I, w I went from, from a, a and, uh, Greek thing. And the style thing. is also these big blooms. Here, look at the camera, yeah. honey. So big, huge peony. Um, kind of asymmetrical nice. and nice. Uh, I don't know that looks awesome and it, so it works for you it works okay <laughs> so you know if you're thinking to yourself well these are adorable I would Look. love to get <laughs> <laughs> I would love to make some of these for my own whether you're having a party or an event and you're thinking I am just not sure how to do it they have all the supplies here so you can come down to geranium lake flowers pick up the supplies and I bet you could even ask some questions if you needed to on how to create them for yourselves or they already have some made, so you can just buy them and don't have to worry about it at all. Kim, thank you so much. It's always delightful. My you dear. look so good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome.